Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad, and in today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, I can't. Oh, I don't have volume. Hang on one second. Okay, now I'm back. Welcome. I forgot I unplugged my mic to uh set up for a podcast that we're trying to start here on campus, just in my room with my roommates. But uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad. In today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, what are we doing? We're getting close to the end of this. I want to get that scar off of Zephyr and hopefully she'll be ready for damn She got two. She should have been in training then I don't think she's gonna make it for the last mission because that's gonna take two days. I think we're only two days away from the last mission Yeah, recover the bank. Okay, that's what we need to do now Our unrest is looking pretty bad, but it's not terrible. I guess it's been worse. It's definitely been worse We don't have anything free from the scavenger market uh, should go ahead and spend the money for these new field teams that one's a three that's fine i need to freeze this district if i didn't freeze this district it would have ticked over and started causing us anarchy uh that one might cause us anarchy as well but i think it might just go to full anyways though we know exactly what mission we're finna do so let's get into it and a bunch of other time besides that a cool little banner that they have there i'm sure there's probably some Minutes easter eggs or something on it manager activated her silent alarm from this location she's on a progeny grab list so be prepared for anything it's definitely progeny i'm used to their background noise interesting sonic background noise um who do we want to have lead us through I can't remember who's bringing what he has the med kit so we don't need that first i saved the ceasefire and the um hollow scanner for later on in the mission i should have got another hollow scanner that's what i should do but yeah we didn't need the ceasefire here because we don't have that many aggressive units although i didn't check that at first it just ended up working out that way we could take this codex out now with now with your shot we we'll use a land shot on them to start dealing damage. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill them. Just judging by uh, who let us do Claymore, not Claymore. Axiom's first chance to hit was real low. 100% chance to take the codex out. Deal with them now because they teleport around a lot. It's pretty hard to keep track of. Dang, that did way more damage than I thought it would. That's not bad. Uh, he's probably one of the better people for that to hit since he heals automatically on his own. That panic was removed. He's adrenal surge first. Over the edge. I know in the last few episodes I was talking about how I would uh I want to always start off with adrenal surge so I can psych him all the way up and then proceed to forget for a few episodes. Anyways, who's first? Who can we reach? We can reach them with slam. Or smash i mean and it always does this too where it's like not doing it even though i'm clicking or should we go for the archon let's go for them first because they have a higher chance of hitting want to hit with at least one of these and this they're disorientated too so i know that's a penalty to their aim and then we'll go for the archon next I don't want to be near that car because I'm scared the car is going to blow up since that happens. It happens too often to me where cars will just blow up as weapons against me. Anti-rage. So... Oh, back to the number two. I thought he would go for the number seven after that, but going for number two is better because that takes them out completely. The Archon's mad at Axiom now. Hopefully this car doesn't blow up when it does its melee strike because I assume that's what it's going to do. Yeah. Uh, flesh wound. Rage? No. Okay. Dead eyes first. And with that, I'll be able to use subdue and take them out and put them in Overwatch, which is what I'm gonna do. As long as I remember to do it. Lightning hands on the number two person. Cool. That got some get some killed. And then you can just use subdue on them. You're under arrest. Now you can teleport. 
with the number three person that puts them next to uh torque or I should put them in angle of torque to be able to oh forgot about the shot again but torque should be able to um bind them on her next turn and you can get pushed back to the bottom of the turn order don't need you doing anything else in here whoever you tongue for you're gonna take out either way Axiom's already close enough to just use subdue on the um uh, is this tongue for still no want to hello i'll just move next to him and bind him then won't let me tongue pull him but that's also not a requirement i don't know why i was thinking that it was considering they were around the corner forgot that he pops like that but the panic was resisted so that's pretty good so we still have no real negative effects to deal with you can either take a shot or try and use oh wait no his subdue should kill yeah we're not kill but knock him out i guess since it is subdue Let's see what this next encounter has for us. Progeny reinforcements have pushed into the building. You need to keep moving. Ah, a target rich environment. Keep making my day. Let's see how many people we have here. That'll determine if we use the ceasefire or the hollow scan. Uh, racing through this entrance does plus three damage. Last through this entrance is plus one armor. XM can scream through here. And blue blood can come second with the ceasefire bomb uh plus 25 for one round or successful shots will stun yeah we'll, we'll have her go through first there and then if if she manages to hit we'll have her go for whoever is whoever's hostile or aggressive i mean and then if she hits them they'll be stunned and they won't take the shot and the first thing whatever something in there got hit was immune i know the only affects those who have weapons so maybe it's not as useful right now we have a chance to stun the resonant here which we managed to do so they're not hostile i don't know actually yeah they're stunned so they won't get their turn you missed so we didn't get that plus three damage that we were hoping for yeah we're gonna take three shots here i think no two shots at least or we can bring it down to just one but blue blood would have not blue blood uh shelter would have to land his shot which is a 67 percent also doesn't look like okay cool i don't like how it doesn't aim at the people it like st stops for a second then turns to aim it says he's aggressive but he didn't take a shot and we had someone else was aggressive but they died and the other one was stunned and they're gonna be poisoned on their turn too get a poison spit over here and that'll do damage to both of them i might have been able to get it in there too and do damage to both of them either way though we still got the people poisoned We can only see two enemies to try and tongue pool. Let's go for one here. Right. Okay. It was a low chance to hit. Is that in the turn? It does if it miss, I guess. Oh yeah, because if you grab someone, then you'd be able to bind. That's fine. That means we won't lose our turn and we have time to get to the acolyte before it can do before it can actually slam her and deal damage. I think it only does like two damage or something too. Like it's not terrible either. Better of this explode. I know this explosion does like two damage. Need to reload. Ooh, we don't have Adrenal Surge, but we still can Who psycho. Some? And who's next? This thrall in the back. Actually, we should be able to use subdue on them, right? I mean, subdue will take them out. Never mind, but the poison's gonna take them Let's out. So, again. either way, it's fine. 
You have a free reload. From here, you can Back use Dead Eye. But for Dead Eye, I'm the number two person. Okay. We don't have lightning hands, but we still can't move, and we do need to move him out of whatever this thing is. We can move him over to. I don't know where, like, if this spot is still safe. I'd rather have him there so you'd be protected from the number four person, but. I don't think that's gonna make sense to do. I think I'll, it, cause I think they're gonna be flanked from another position. He's gonna be flanked by the number two person, I think, and the number five and six. So we only really, only really would have had cover from number three, but right there he has cover from more than just that one. Plus, it's an Overwatch no matter what. So even if something did move, he was gonna get, shoot at them. And we have to go get this acolyte too, soon too. No, I want to relocate. I can only hit two of them. Switching. Forgot that that gives the shot away. That's off the armor. But I, that's gonna. That means this no explosion is gonna kill the number eight person. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. And we can push this sorcerer down in the turn order. Reflect on your choices. Ooh, and he did five damage too. I forgot to get that acolyte. That was the one I was trying to move down in the turn order. I should have hit them with the uh, psionic thing, but E. But they weren't next in the turn order. I was focused on getting the next person. The exercise. She can go ahead and secure what we're going Do you for. Die? Then stay here. Open chest. Open chest. Yeah, down in the corner, it just had shelter there. I don't know why. Then we can tongue pull. We can tongue pull on. This is the only one we can see. I don't know why we can't get this one right here. Maybe because they're too close, I guess. I don't know. Go for a shot on them, though. It won't kill. It won't even get close to killing either, though. That's another issue. I got closer to my mic on accident. But, uh, now nah, it's not going to kill. It also has a pretty low chance of hitting. I want to do something that might kill. Like that. That one killed. She's doing a lot of high damage. Even th she's like she's doing high damage even without her crit. Don't know what happened. Couldn't get an angle that actually saw anything. Oh shit. They killed a civilian for no reason. I assume they're just gonna take a shot now. I mean, that's the only thing that would make sense, so. Putting you psych up again. You could just use subdue on the number six person, right? And that takes them out. Because they're not poisoned or anything. They didn't know they were in Overwatch. I don't I must have looked I oh, know I started adjusting my mic while they were still finishing their turn. So do the target. Okay. You can use dead eye here. Eighty percent chance to hit. Takes take them it. out. I don't have to use that right now, so I'll save it for the start of the next encounter. That way we can let everything fly right then. Burn through that ammo. And then I moved him into poison on accident, so that's on me. You can reload. I'm reloading. And then go and use subdue. I think the other one is the main one. Should be able to reach them still, though, right? Nope. Well, we'll still use subdue. Actually, I don't think it matters what order we kill them in. One less to worry about. Did they pop or something like that? No. Okay. Slithering. Can we see the enemy now? Yeah. I've got you. I should have put her into that poison. I don't know if it heals immediately or if or if I even got that perk, but still. 
Just to check it. She's Don't immune to it either way, so it wouldn't have mattered. But I was more focused on getting her an angle where she could see them. Now, Axiom has the healing thing, so he's probably going to go third through more whatever inches. In. The bank manager is just ahead of you. Whatever uh, entrance lets us put him third and heal as many people as possible. Now we don't have a we never did buy a key card, so we don't have a secure entrance option. And he has he has the ceasefire, so he can lead through. She has the hollow skin. He has the health, and shelter can bring up the rear. Breach, breach. Throwing grenade. This way, um, this way, anybody who's aggressive and we don't kill, we can still use Dazzle on. And Dazzle uh, should disorientate them and reduce the chances that they have to hit in the first place. Go for a normal shot there. We have a 78% chance. So we managed to take one out. Uh, this last one has terrible chances to hit. So I just go for something else that we might be able to kill and then use dazzle on them and hope that that's enough to negate their shot. Dazzle, dazzle. And that's going to disorientate more people in here too. And it managed to make them miss that or they're going to miss either way. Either way it goes, whether they're going to miss or not, we still, that's we still were disorientated. Manager. So I'm Get taking the, I'm taking the uh, credit for that. That was me completely intentional. He used dead eye here. Gotcha. Then we can use lightning hands. Can we see them? Yeah. There. Okay, we we'll ah, miss. It's fine, I guess. Do you have any explosives now? You have the med kit. Who else can you hit? You can hit them for hundred percent with dead eye. I don't even know why we have an angle on them. Let's go for it though. Might as well, right? They managed to survive it, but we did almost kill them anyways. Now the next time we'll be able to use subdue or something close. instead of having to uh, shoot at them. Who's next? Number two. We have poison spit. So I can put in this room. He's immune to poison right now. So this would be fine. Who's next? Number four. We can use C to tongue pull. I guess you can just walk Going up to ground. the number five person and bind them. them. No, I don't know why I could tongue pull them then. It's panic fire. They're on edge. I don't think he can take damage from that either. We could come in here and use Quake. I can use running gun. Coming for you. I don't think I needed to use this actually because he can make it in one move. And we need to take her out. This is gonna poison her, but she's gonna be out immediately, so it should be fine. Evac. And we just have to take everybody else out, which actually isn't too bad. This room is pretty small. And we can use Quake right here. Who are we gonna hit? Oh, we were gonna hit uh, Blue Blood also with that. We can do it from right here though. This is a safe spot to do it from. Kill. And I forgot Quake doesn't do anything special like um, cause disorient hate or knock someone unconscious or something like that. It just does a lot of damage. Well, not even a lot. Well, yeah, it does a lot of damage is all. It looks like that was aimed at Axiom alone. Oh, it hit Blue Blood also. Okay. Is that the best you can do? No, they missed. All right, that's fine. Uh, use this mode eye inducer on. Blue Blood's turn is the furthest away. Use Adrenal Surge. And 
and you can use psych up again Pumped up. And you can go use smash on who's next in the turn Crashing the party. then if this manages to hit too we can just use to do on them next it did kill and that, that's it we just want to take him out now so i can juggle the turn order with um with shelter in a second right is there any way to get this to hit everybody over there but not us it's not they're immune to mental effects i think the acolyte might be also but the brute i know is not we could use fracture though oops god you have to like choose where you're gonna put him down it Now I realize I'm saying we're going to juggle the turn order, right? Don't need to do it at all. All I really need to do is hit them with uh, this little blast thing, right? Changing locale. All I have to do is hit the number three person with the blast thing and then take everybody else out. That's all I have to do. Uh, and that's it for you. You can just leave. Evac. Of ammo. you're leaving anyways and even if we couldn't do that on his turn we could have just used team up on blue blood's turn to bring uh torque out with us also so i'd say that was a pretty good mission i think we did pretty good not too much damage our bank manager used to work with sensitive advent data she received implants and specialized training to counter brute force sonic domination which seems to be the progeny's only play bad news for them good news for the people of city 31. Uh, we got four people captured so 80 percent chance to get bonus intel due to one civilian casualty there's a 20 percent chance that the unrest will rise in this mission in this mission's district yeah because we did have that what was it it was a sci it was a psionic blast from a codex and like the first or second i think it was the second encounter because it was inside blew up and killed the person i didn't know if we could clear what well, could have cleared them from the thing but it would have caused this damage to our own people so i guess that's where the trade-off was i could either damage myself and save them or not save them and then have a potential for the unrest to shoot up in the district uh i don't remember where this uh thing was either to know whether or not it's going to shoot up currency was tricky you needed portability but also a tactical component for species who considered visions a secondary sense. He also needed a finite resource that had some inherent value and cannot easily be forged. It was Orthu who landed on, on stamped chits made of alien alloy. From darkest before dawn, the rise of City 31 in a post-war world. Um, Chits? I feel like, I hope I'm saying that right because I've, it does it just doesn't, doesn't sound like a safe word without hard currency the city's recovery efforts would grind to a halt all right the progeny are atop the tallest building in old town from there they have a view of the entire city they're assembling a strange device up there this must be their end game all right Heads cool up. the city council is calling an emergency session confidence in 31 pd is at an all-time low you can blame the progeny for that I think we're all right, but if there's any blowback, I'll let you know. Okay, so we have take down the progeny now. The last mission for them. We'll be doing that in the next episode. So I should be able to finish recording these by the end of this week and post everything else up. And we're moving into uh Ori and the Blind Forest and finishing that. Which shouldn't be too long. I think I feel like I'm about two thirds of the way through that game maybe i don't know i have no idea but i feel like i'm pretty far into it she's finished her spec ops um I feel like it makes sense to just do it again because all of our unrest is still way too high the progeny are atop the tallest building i think there's he yeah we read that and then also i don't know why he started saying it the second time we opened this but everything else is fine she's gonna finish that training she might finish just barely in time to be in the last mission but 
Uh, we'll take the intel also. I use Dragnet over here though, just so the unrest doesn't go off. Oops, not that. Do this one over here. Uh, the device was is has no clear connection to our current investigation, but someone continues to develop rogue tech in City Thirty One. I'll inform headquarters. Zephyr has completed her training. Old Town's unrest risen to one. Risen by one. We get a free field scene here. Question for you. We've already heard this one. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share with your friends. Uh, all my other socials in the comments are in the comments in the description down below. So don't forget to follow those too. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.